continue calculating our installment loans, but our calculations today are going to figure out what our monthly payment for that installment loan will be and how much finances, finance charge were charged to my account. So the first vocabulary word that we need to understand is what our APR is. So that's our annual percentage rate. So that's the index showing the cost of borrowing money on a yearly basis expressed as a percent. So the APR might be 12% per year, but that means if you make monthly payments, your percentage rate will only be 1% because we're going to need to calculate what our payment percentage is. So these are some variables that we're going to need to know. So our monthly payment is calculated starting with P. So P is that principal amount. Now this is after we've calculated what our down payment will be and we've subtracted that from our initial um, purchase amount. So then we're gonna take that times R. Now R is not going to be that APR R is going to be the APR divided by the number of payments per year. Now, typically, a normal loan is that you make monthly payments, but that actually will be worked out with your lender. You might make bi-monthly payments. In that case, then you would divide it by 24 because you're making two payments a month, okay? Or you're making a payment every other month. However you work that out with your lender, typically it is the APR divided by 12. Again, that's not always the case. N is going to stand for the number of payments required to pay off the loan. So this formula doesn't look very complicated, but once we start putting in the division and our exponents, we'll need to be very careful about how we work that formula. All right, so let's try it with a problem. So Blake and Jackie are purchasing a refrigerator with an installment loan that has an APR of 12%. Now that refrigerator cost got cut off here, but the price of the refrigerator was $13.99.99. Okay, they made a 10% down payment and 12 monthly payments. So we want to figure out what the monthly payment will be. So the first thing I'm going to calculate is what that down payment is. So the down payment is going to be 10%.10 times our 1,399.99 purchase price of the refrigerator. So the down payment, when you round that answer, you'll get about $140 for the down payment. So now what I'm going to need to do is calculate how much we're going to finance. Now in this formula, this is our principal. So the amount financed is going to be $1,399.99, subtracting $140 from it. We are going to actually finance $1,259.99. Now let's work through this formula. So our monthly payment is equal to the principal, so that's our amount that we're going to finance, $1,259.99 times our rate. Now our rate is at 12%, so I'm going to make that 0.12. Since we're making 12 monthly payments, we're going to divide that by 12. Then I need to multiply 1 plus 12% divided by 12, and we're making 12 payments, so we're going to multiply or take that to the 12th power. Now, if you're doing this all in your calculator, I would suggest putting a big set of parentheses over that entire numerator before we move on to the denominator. Now, the denominator needs another one of the 1 plus R's, so that's going to be 1 plus 0.12 divided by 12 to the 12th power again, but this time we're subtracting one from this. Again, you want to worry about the placement of your parentheses. Take your time when doing this calculation. The monthly payment should give you, when calculating this out, to be $111.95. So that's what you'll pay per month for 12 months to pay off that refrigerator. 
Now the next question says, well, what is the total finance charges? Well, in order to calculate the total finance charge, I want to figure out what my buy, what my payments came out to. So I'm going to find what my total repayment costs were. So in order to do this, I know that I made 12 payments of $111.95. So when I take 12 times $111.95, I paid back $1,343.38. Now you'll remember that up here, I only financed $1,259.99, but I paid back $1,343.38. The rest of that difference becomes the finance charge. So our finance charge for this refrigerator would be what I paid back minus what I borrowed, and that means that my finance charges came to about $83.39, or 38 cents. And that was, nope, I was right the first time. I'm looking at the wrong number, $83.39. That is going to be how much interest I paid back to the lender, whether it was a store credit, whether it was a bank credit. It was some kind of small loan. So I made my monthly payments of $111.95, and I paid back $1,343.38, earning the lender $83.39 in interest. All right, so if you want to go in your textbook and try this one, you should probably pause the video, try it on your own, and check back with the solution. So it says, Ingrid purchased a $4,000 gazebo for her garden. The down payment was 20% and the installment loan has an APR of 10% for 36 months. All right, so she's going to make monthly payments on this. So the first thing I want to do is calculate that down payment. So we'll take $4,000 times 20%, and her down payment will be $800. So to calculate the amount financed, we're going to take $4,000 minus that $800, and her principal or the amount that she's financing is $3,200. All right, now let's calculate that monthly payment. So we'll start with the principal of 3,200 times R. So R in this case is 10% for the annual rate, but we're gonna make monthly payments, so we'll, we will divide that by 12 times the quantity of 1 plus 10% divided by 12. Now we're going to pay this back in 36 months. So we'll raise that to the 36 power. Again, you want to make sure you give yourself a set of parentheses around the total numerator and the total denominator. So my denominator is going to have 1 plus 10% divided by 12 to the 36th power for the 36 payments minus one. When we do this calculation in our calculator, whether you do it separately or all together, we should get a total of about $103.25 for our payments. So our monthly payment will be $103.25. Now to calculate that finance charge, we need to know what the total repayment is. So we made $103.25 payments for 36 months, giving us a total of $3,717.18. So if I figure out what my initial payment was, which was $3,200, I will subtract that from what I paid back, and that means that I paid over $500 in interest. So my finance charge was $517.18, and I paid back $3,717.18. All right, if you need to walk through one more with me, I suggest doing concept check number two. 
So it's the same type of problem. In this problem, Lisa's purchasing a vehicle for $45,000 with a $5,000 down payment and finance the rest on an installment loan for 72 months. At an annual percentage rate, there's our APR of 6%. Find Lisa's monthly payment. So I've got to figure out first what her principal will be. Remember, her principal is the amount that she finances. So we're going to take 45000 minus that $5,000 down payment, making the amount that Lisa finances $40,000. Now let's calculate her monthly payment. So her monthly payment's going to start with her principal times her rate. So her APR is 6% and she's going to make monthly payments. We'll divide that by 12. We're going to take that times 1 plus 0 0.06 divided by 12 and she's going to pay this back in 72 months. So she's going to take six years to pay this back. We're going to take that. We're going to make sure we put that in a big grouping of parentheses. And we'll divide that by 1 plus 0 0.06 divided by 12, again to the 72nd power, minus 1. And you see I'll have some double set of groupings in there. And the monthly payment will end up costing her $662.92 for her $45,000 vehicle. So this is her monthly payment. Now to find the finance charges that she's spending, we're going to figure out how much she paid back. So if she had made $662.92 payments for 72 months, that's going to bring her to a payback of $47,729.92. Now remember that she only borrowed, whoops, she only borrowed $40,000. So you can see on this much larger loan that the bank actually earned $7,729.92 off of her for her finance charges and interest. All right, so I'm going to give you some problems like this to, to try with on your own. Please take your time and work through that formula very carefully today.